So I've always been interested in these diesel injector testers that you see on eBay in Australia. They're only about $115 delivered. Um, obviously they are specifically for diesel injectors with this kind of ridiculous pressure gauge on there. But there's absolutely no reason why we can't modify this to work with KJetronic injectors. Now, out of the box there is no way of connecting to one of those injectors, but you could use a piece of hose or uh, braze on a piece of uh, original tubing from a donor vehicle. I happen to have this adapter lying around that came with my um, K-Jet fuel pressure test kit. So I got extremely lucky. I was actually planning to braze the hoses together, but that wasn't necessary. And here's just a demonstration of it working. Um, yes, it does. Um, however, you should operate it nice and slowly. Uh, you don't want to get too carried away. This thing is capable of ridiculous pressures and you will destroy the injectors if you get carried away. And I'll show you that shortly. Um, as you can see, that um, ridiculous gauge won't even move at the pressures that KJet operates at. So really you need to swap that over, preferably with one that probably goes up to around 150 PSI. I will find one of those at some stage. And here's a demonstration of going crazy and you'll see what happens. Dead. That's all it takes. It's ruined permanently. So yes, I am aware that uh, a well-known YouTuber sells a $5 bottle jack that's been converted into a $300 proposition for us Australians, hence why I'm not bothering with one of those. Um, I gave this a go. In theory, it works perfectly. I just need to get myself a more suitable gauge. And for someone that uh, doesn't have one of these adapters lying around, you'll have to come up with some other solution to join that together.